my name is Vanessa. Um, I go to Metropolitan State University, studying youth and family studies. Um, and my reason for doing that is because um, I was, so initially I wanted to be um, an educator, um, but there were some things that I've learned about through like multicultural education courses that um, education is just not as equal for all. Um, and I didn't realize it until, you know, I, I heard more about the achievement gap. And I'm like, oh my God, I could have fell through that. Like I was very, very close to not being able to um, fulfill my dreams. Um, and so um, the one thing that kind of steered me away from, from being a teacher right away is trying to make sure that I have enough of me and I can try and build relationships, coalitions, capacity with all the different stakeholders who are in education so that um, our future generations don't have to be combated with the things I, I had to, you know, kind of go through and am still going through. <laughs> um, so um, I guess there's, there's so much of us where do I start? Okay, so middle school. Let me start from there. Middle school, I went to an IB school um, from 7th to 10th grade. Transferred to a regular um, public high school and totally got lost in the shuffle. Like I said, I was, I felt like I could have been the, a student who fell through the gaps. And um, from experiences working with youth at a young age, so being exposed to um, an outlet, um, really helped me set goals for myself and um, want something more because I grew up, um, you know, kind of seeing my way through things, literally, C's, just with everything, you know. So I, and I didn't realize um, the significance of, you know, putting in hard work because I was still, you know, kind of going with the flow, you know, um, and wasn't, and didn't feel like that was necessarily a burden. Um, or would be a burden to me like it is now today. Um, so um, uh, back to my transfer situation. So I transferred into um, a public, regular public high school and um, was kind of just, they kind I felt like I just went by the wayside and they just kind of tracked me into mainstream classes. I don't know what we want to call them, but they definitely weren't IB. I was in word problems in 11th grade and I'm just like, if it was not for the word problems in 11th grade, I would have stayed in the classes that I was in. But I'm just like, hold on, this is not right. So that just makes me think of, well, what about the expectations for the kids who didn't come from a school like mine and don't know that they're capable of achieving, you know, higher, higher things than word problems in 11th grade, you know? So um, that that definitely motivates me on a daily basis too. And um, there are there are so many educators that I I feel so strongly for because I I know I remember the first time I felt like you know that that epiphany where I was like oh my god this is what I want to do it was working one on one with a student and I seen success and that just was like the best feeling ever so I'm thinking this is the feeling of all educators um, however a lot of um, from my experience, a lot of educators um, have lost that passion, and I think it's due to not being properly prepared to teach different types of students and teaching, um, having these this level of expectations and this this huge level of accountability with the students, with the parents, with the culture of the the school, just a whole bunch of factors that. Um, contribute to like us not being able to live out our dreams you know so um, I really that's part of my vocation I learned this word vocation in the first college program so I'm doing an individualized study with youth and family studies and a part of my vocation is definitely trying to make it so that education is 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 doing the job of education you know what I mean so it's not just 
sending through sending kids through an institution and just see what happens. You know what I mean? Because um, like there's a pipeline to prison. Some people know about it. Some people don't. Um, and it's like if I knew that based on my third grade test score that I would go to jail, then I probably would have worked a little harder in fourth grade. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or or something. I mean, it's just like I, I want people to be able to to get fired up and as passionate as I, as I am so that we can, you know, I want the world to be right, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we can do impact out of the United States. We used to be the pioneer of education. We are like 29th or something, something ridiculous, like not even the top 10 anymore. So it's just, we need to get back to this pioneer of education, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. <laughs>